What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Scream 6 in this video here today. I wanted to touch on who we can kind of eliminate from being the opening victims and why we can eliminate them. So, so far there's, I'll just name them. You have Sam, Tara, Chad, Mindy, Kirby. I guess there's actually six. Throw in Gail too. Six people who we know are, I think that's basically all the Woodsboro survivors that are coming back. All six of them will not be the opening kill, as far as I can tell. And there are some things out there as to why I think that. One, the recent interview Jenna Ortega has had with Entertainment Tonight, where they, I, I've seen people point this out. They kind of twisted her words around actually saying of why we won't be, why they would be distracted if Nev isn't back because of this and that. And it's not exactly what she said when you listen to the interview, but just not to get too off topic. When it pertains to what she said in this interview about what you can expect from Tara Carpenter and Sam Carpenter in Scream 6, she seemed a little excited because she's saying that she never got to interact with Jasmine during Scream 5. And there's going to be some explorations of Sam and Tara's relationship and kind of seeing how different they are and how they kind of might be sharing more scenes together in this movie compared to what they had in Scream 5, which is more heavily a sam centric story and i know some people would argue that sam probably was overdeveloped compared to everyone else who was underdeveloped so i hope they can balance that out a bit more in terms of the development of the characters i can say that is a con with screen 5 some people's development is a little bit more saturated and others is not too leveled out so she said those comments which has already kind of eliminated tara sam it's eliminated mindy since she seems excited to have scenes with mindy Gail is out of the question as well because Gail is someone who we have already seen on set during a sequence where it looks like she's having some type of heated conversation between the Carpenter sisters, presumably after a kill has happened. So Gail is not going to be in the opening scene. And then Chad, that's someone else who I would eliminate from the opening kill sequence only because as it stands right now, if he's dying the image that we saw that was out there of him coming out on a stretcher that seemed like a a sequence that would be that was shot after a party or something going on that takes place after the opening of the movie that's not the opening of the movie that's what i'm going to assume and then with kirby she's written out of being the opening kill because we saw her during a sequence being filmed where people thought she was wearing a wig we saw her at a moment being filming stuff that looks like that's occurring later on in the project and just because hayden herself has made comments about her role in the movie she didn't say outwardly that yes i'm surviving the opening sequence but she said that fans would not be disappointed by the return of kirby now of course she could still die in the opening and she could just be referencing the fact that even if she dies in the opening it'll still be enough to satisfy a certain niche of fans out there but i think a large chunk of kirby fans want her to at least be around for a while until the very end if she dies then she dies if she lives she lives but they don't want her to just simply come back and die in the opening so she said that she doesn't think fans will be disappointed by kirby's arc in this movie that's kind of what she basically said now as it pertains to who is in the opening kill then we know sydney won't be the opening kill uh dewey obviously won't be the opening kill we have we have liana liberato we have all these other new cast members josh segura uh samara weaving those are also people that I do not think will be in the opening kill. I think that there is somebody that is potentially tied to the survivors that will be the opening kill. More and more stuff seems like it is going in that direction. And that a certain rumor is true. Because the rumor is that the opening kill will be someone connected to Kirby. I think it was her boyfriend is what the rumor was. So if Kirby's boyfriend is the opening kill that would mean that kirby yes would probably be in the opening sequence because again hayden's energy during her interaction where she was asked about if kirby would survive the opening sequence or not and what we can expect from her uh it seems like kirby is somehow involved in the opening but she makes it out alive so who is it that dies in the opening then it would have to be someone tied to kirby presumably someone who is a love interest someone she might be close to that's not a love interest or if it's not kirby in the opening sequence it could be some other survivor who loses someone close to them in the opening sequence 
I'm certain it's Kirby though. I'm certain Kirby is going to be your opening sequence. The movie will start off with her. You'll probably be thrown off track because now since she's in the opening, you're going to assume the worst only for them to pull what they just pulled with Scream 5 and have her survive this opening attack. And she's going to lose her, lose her boyfriend though in the wake of Ghostface abruptly returning. And then it'll play out with Sam, Tara, and all the other Woodsboro survivors that we know are going to be factored into Scream 6's narrative going forward i just thought that was an interesting piece to take away from what jenna was saying because she seemed so eager about tara's role in the movie and she shared some details that kind of lead you to believe all six survivors are safe from the opening kill so kirby won't be the opening kill tara won't be the opening kill chad won't be the opening kill mindy won't be the opening kill sam won't be the opening kill gail won't be the opening kill gail we are expecting to have some big role involved in the movie anyway so for her to be the opening kill that would kind of defeat the purpose of her big role i mean i guess not you could still die in the opening and have like your death linger around the rest of the movie honestly and that could be a very big role but when we're talking big role we're expecting her to be heavily involved jenna has also stated this movie will be action-packed overly go not overly but gore he gore heavy and will be distracted by all this other stuff that you might not be seen in the movie such as the absence of nev campbell potentially so when i think of who is going to die in the opening and what jenna has said i'm more convinced in a certain rumor that was out there related to kirby's boyfriend dying in the opening sequence so if kirby's boyfriend dies in the opening sequence then that's just who it will be could the could the boyfriend actually be someone we've already seen maybe could it be josh segura's character maybe um i think that this person is someone who's been hidden from from the cast so far because i'm also now starting to think that there's probably a even stronger chance just me predicting that we actually see christina carpenter and christina carpenter because remember melissa barrera was holding a cup that says salma haig and i think some people chimed in about her probably looking up to salma haig as an idol but i'm just thinking is salma haig going to be appearing in this movie as christina carpenter and is christina potentially the opening kill i've talked about that in another video too just theorizing on how they could use christina as the opening kill sequence but it's probably best that she's not and we can have her here as answers so she can be like be like a complete opposite from marine so they have someone to hold accountable for the sins that they've committed while they're here whereas sydney did not have her mother here to hold her accountable for some of the sins she did in the past um but you guys can let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below again i think it's safe to say that all six of our survivors are safe from the opening sequence if i'm wrong then i'm just wrong but le let me know who you think will die in the opening sequence down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course you can go ahead and uh of course subscribe Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.